It's been 30 minutes and she hasn't taken a single whiff of this hot boy sandwich. Is she is she vegan? Like, did I mess up taking her to a chicken spot when she's vegan or something? Should I should we go outside to feed her grass or what? I'm so starving that I can't even listen right now. So I'm just gonna nod my head up and down. Just like that. You like that? Yup, yup. Alright, can you please just take a bite of that sandwich? I've never had so much fun on a date before. This guy's got the whole package. He can speak a bang bang on, has the body of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and makes the best city gong. I want to see what that mouth do. John, you have some sauce near your lips. Wait, let me get that for you. Girl, if you want to kiss me, go right on ahead. I ain't gonna stop you. Oh great, my spidey senses are tingling at the perfect time. Now I gotta bounce and rescue this pair of shoes. Hey, what's up y'all? Before we find shoes from Jurassic Park, I wanna give a big shout out to our sponsor, Trade Coffee. Trade Coffee partners with 50 of the nation's best roasters and features over 400 different types of ethically sourced coffee. That's a lot of choices, so they created a quiz that allows you to find the best cup of coffee for your taste and brewing needs. I took the quiz earlier and Trade sent me my perfect match called La Bicicleta, which means bicycle for you not espanols I like my women how I like my coffee. Dark and naturally sweet. Uh, I like my little bit floral fruity and you know the earthiness is really good. And you know, it's it's good enough for me. I don't have to add any creamers or sugars. So I just take it straight up. So I don't add any unnecessary sugars in my body, you know? Mm. It's hot. But to sweeten the deal even more, Trade is offering the first 100 people 30% off who click on the link below and save on your first bag. 30%. So click on the link down below to take the quiz and treat yourself with some amazing coffee to kick off 2020 and see which has the best coffee. I was taking a stroll a couple of hours away from where I live and I stumbled upon these shoes. I like to dig around just to see what treasures I can find and I find a couple of shoes underneath this rock. And yes, you are correct. This is called a sedimentary rock. After finding these shoes, I quickly jog home and see how much these guys are worth and see if I could resell them. Hey, what's good you guys? It's John Manalo and I'm gonna try and see what kind of shoes these guys are and uh, hopefully bring these guys back to life. And so far, so good. I don't really see anything crawling or slithering around the shoes, so I think that's a pretty good sign so far. All right, wait, hold on. My mind better be playing tricks on me because I know that ain't no damn bug on the shoes again. Okay, maybe I was tripping. I'm pretty sure we're in the clear. Yo, see, there was one. I thought I was tripping. For some reason, all of the shoes that I find, there's a living creature inside of the shoes. Okay, I'm just gonna shake the shoes up vigorously just to make sure there's really nothing inside. Okay, we got one. Oh, okay, we got two. Huh, I wonder what they were doing in there. Okay, so we got the two. Wait a minute. We got three, four, five. Five cocker six? What the? Where are these guys? Seven? Where are these guys coming from? All right, I'm just gonna be right back. I'm gonna go to the store and get some raid. All right, y'all, I just got back from pack and save. Um, time to, God damn. This cockroach must be Filipino cause ain't no way this cockroach has this many cousins. All right, I'm just gonna put them outside and give them each a dollar bill and hope for the best for All them. right, you guys, I'm gonna check the shoes thoroughly cause I wanna make sure that there's nothing else living inside of the shoes. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna post an eviction notice so that these guys will get the idea. All right, guys, looks like it worked. Uh, now that we got all the bugs out of the shoes, now it's time to clean them. All right, y'all, now it's time to clean the shoes, and I'll be using Rejuvenator to clean the shoes. You can use the coupon code MANALA for an additional 10% off your purchase. 
I recommend getting the 4 ounce 3 brush shoe cleaning kit. This brush kit will help you tackle different types of shoes that you might have. Whether it's suede, Dorabuck, leather, patent leather, it'll tackle everything perfectly. So I'm going to be separating the rubber sole from the uppers since we are going to be sole swapping it because the rubber tread is non-existent anymore. Yo, I looked up how much the shoes are worth and ting ting, walla walla bing bang, they cost so much. You know what would be bananas if I try to sell these on StockX and they'd pass as a brand new pair. And so these are going to be my donors. Everyone knows that I'm the best sneaker restorer on YouTube and in the world. So by having this clout, I have magical powers that automatically remove donors for me. All right, if you compare the original Uncle Soul to the new donor Soul, you can see that it doesn't have a full length foam. It only cuts in half. So I guess uh, Nike's just trying to cut weight and save money there. I just got word that if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, all of those cockroaches in the video will go straight to your house. And make sure to click on the bell. Alright, so once you do that, you're now safe. So right now, I'm sanding down the midsole so the uppers will bond properly to the midsole. Alright guys, now it's very important to use a Dremel tool to remove any of the factory glue that is still on the uppers. So we want a perfect, perfect bond on the soles that we are regluing. But, you know, safety first. I know there's a lot of shrapnel and a lot of dust coming out. So I want to protect you, the viewer, from all of this. So I'm going to put a mask on you guys. Now we're just going to continue removing all of that factory glue that is left on the upper. And we are going to do the same thing for the rubber sole. So for the one millionth time that I've said this, we want to remove the factory glue because it'll make our reglues last a whole lot longer. And for some reason, while I was doing this, it just made me hungry. For, I don't know what was going through my head, but doing that just made me think of a dessert. So now it's time to bond the shoes together. So now it's time to apply the adhesive on the rubber sole and on the upper material. Now you just want to push the glue around um, just like how you push each other's buttons in a relationship. Just want to make sure that you get them in and every crevice evenly. Now we're going to do the same thing to the upper material. And because I'm a better magician than David Blaine, I'm just going to put on the soles easy peasy like this. The soles are finally bonded onto the upper material. So now it's time to re-dye that suede and paint the leather back to black. And I'm going to be using Angelus Dorex pink suede dye. If you guys want to buy leather paints and leather dyes, go down in my description below and there'll be a link for you to access their website. Now, because there is black, paint on the suede it's not thread the paint will overlap the black material or the black paint on the suede so it's better to do, to do this man i can't talk right now it's better to do this free-handed so then you can avoid having excess paint on the black material because it will look chalky now i'm gonna show you what i mean by the chalkiness on the black material so I don't know what, what it is with this pink dye. It's not like any other dyes that I've worked with from Andrelis. It kind of has, I feel like they put white paint or something because to make it to make it that white chalky look. So that's what's happening with the black material. So in order for me to remove majority of it, I just take a, a Q-tip and just wipe it off. Now to make the soles look as original as possible, I will be painting that white foam at the bottom of the rubber sole that is black back to white and i'm also going to be painting the leather a flat black so at first when i was going to paint the foam part underneath the rubber soles i just wanted to use a paintbrush to make it easier but it was a little inconsistent so save the drama for your mama i ended up using an airbrush since it does give the best factory look by using an airbrush man this was a lot of work to do on these shoes especially the redye part hope you guys enjoyed the video now the last part i have to do to the shoes is restitch the rubber sole back to the uppers now to get this tool it's called a sew and all you can purchase this on amazon at your local michaels uh, maybe joanne's fabrics any craft store that'll have this it'll mean a whole lot to me guys if you guys tapped on that thumbs up button all right y'all hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys didn't then i hope one of these cockroaches uh eat you in your sleep 
but yeah man uh take care y'all god bless yay oh i forgot i need to decrease the toe box but be sure not to touch the iron by accident because i did and it hurt like the dickens so i'm using a pillowcase you can use a shirt a really smooth shirt um nothing textured like a like a towel a hand towel or a you know towel that to dry off your bum um so i use this because it's pretty smooth and it won't leave any indentations when i use the iron and make sure to make sure it's really wet so the steam can really penetrate or if your iron does the steaming for you then you could do the steam like that okay Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget, Trade Coffee is giving the first 100 people who click the link down below. All right, y'all, that's, uh, that's all I have to say. All right, peace. We must pay homage to him. Homage, pay homage. Hey yo, what's up you guys? It's John Manolo. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Not only will that thumb be blue, but it'll also help me reach other people that want to see these types of videos as well. And if you guys really want to see more, subscribe down below, guys.